Good afternoon. From the moment I stepped onto this thing, I figured out it was not going to be the best idea. But I've decided as a bit of a challenge, I'm going to try and catch a fish off of my stand-up paddleboard. I designed a bit of a clip. I'll show you this actually. I'll show you this later when I get off the board and I'm not about to fall in the water. Got a bit of a hands-free clip from my rod. I scored from Bunnings. It's just a, um, a broom holder that I've pop riveted to a belt. Holds my rod nice and easy at my hip. I can get it in and out nice and easy. Clips in and out. So Zane's out with me today yep. in his kayak. Um, he hasn't paddled his kayak for probably a year and a bit and it's looking like it's a bit small for him now. So he might be moving up to the next kayak next pretty soon. But anyway, I'm going to cruise down here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just cruise around here out of the wind a little bit and I've got a little Z-Man Z-Man 2 inch grub here on a 120th TT head and it's going to toss this around in the pylons and just see if I can't catch a fish of some species Dad. just because I don't know, it seems like a challenge and seems like a pretty tricky thing to do. Maybe we should go down near these broken things. No, I'm going to hide over here, Andy. I'm, I'm going to sit over here near these things. We're all in the spot. I can't even tie up, I haven't even got a rope to tie up. <laughs> that guy's disgusting, it's like all covered in dust and shit. I know, it's so dusty if you put them in the So I'm just going to kneel here because it's a whole lot more stable than standing up. Um, two reasons. A, it's more stable than standing up, which I'm not too bad at. And B, because it's keeping me a low, low profile to the wind and the wind's kind of pushing me around a bit down there. Oh, there's a touch already. Oh! Oh, nah! First cast and I'm on! Look at this! Oh, no! Nah, I only just dropped this in. Come around here, Mr. Fish. No! It's yeah, it's towing me around. <laughs> oh, how was that for first cast? And I'm onto something half decent here. Oh, what is this? It's a brim, I think. Oh, no, it's a little pinky. Ew! Pinky on my very first cast on little Z-Man grabbing his mouth there. Actually, I'm going to come up a bit more. Look at that. Little Pinky with the Z-Man grabbing his mouth. Whoa, that was awesome. Um, he can go back. Yes, it pulled a lot of line because I've only got four pound on this. This is my um, very light brim setup. It's only got four pound line. Um, I'm running a 10 pound leader just because it makes it a lot easier to land fish and um, in amongst the pylons here. Sometimes they get a bit of, sometimes get a bit of chafe factor, so I'm running a 10 pound leader, but it's only a 4 pound main line. Because, like I said, this is my um, river setup for catching brim and stuff. It's on a super light 1 to 2 kilo Diable Laguna rod. And there you go, I'm pretty wrapped with that for my first cast. I'm pretty chuffed, so. Just going to paddle back over, see if I can't get another one. As you can see, the wind's kind of pushed me away a bit. So I'll paddle back over here and drop another one in by that pylon because it seems to be happening just over there. I don't know why, I haven't got a sienna, so I don't even know if there's bait fish or anything around here, but if that's anything to go by, that's fun. Didn't expect to start losing line on my very first cast. How oh, cool. Um, where's Zane gone? Nah, he's okay. I am going to stand up for this. Oh, I'm in again. Second cast. <laughs> Oh, this one's taking me out into the... Oh, what's going on? This is an even better fish again, I think. 
This one off the bottom. I think it's another little pinky. Where is it? Oh, this one's a tar one. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's two. Yeah, that's my second fish. Nice size tar one. Yeah, I'm rat. It's going off in here tonight. Let's see if I can get a photo of him. Oh, there you go. Nice little tar one. Again, a little Z Man 2 inch grub. He can go back in and I'll paddle back over, see if I can get another one. It's going off in here tonight. Okay, third cast, let's see what happens here. Because the first two have been pretty cool. Okay, I've got to admit, the practicality of fishing from a sup is not... It's not totally practical. My reel's feeling pretty crunchy because it went for a bit of a swim before. Didn't really appreciate that too much. So I got my little Z-Man, I'm just sort of hopping it off the bottom a bit. You can just about dead stick these on the bottom. Yep. Third cast. Oh no, dropped him. No. Oh, there's some big hits down there. What is going on? Oh, my reel is feeling really bad after that little swim I just took before. Bit of one-handed paddling. One-handed fishing. Oh, this reel is feeling bad. We have to seize up. It's not feeling good at all. Got no sound, uh, I can't see any action on the surface, but those first two casts were in the goes like something's going on over here in this corner. Um, it is actually a bit tricky standing up because the wind is just pushing me back. Might be too much of a sail standing up here. <laughs> so I kind of want to hold the fish while I'm standing up. It just seems to be defeating the purpose. Sitting down doesn't seem like the right way to do it. So I'm just letting this sink, sinking down by the pylons, sinking, sinking. It's getting touched already on the way down. Yep. Yeah, this is only a smaller one this time around. What have we got here? This is just a little baby pinky this time. <laughs> there you go, little tiny baby pinky on the Z-Man. Yeah. So what I really want to catch is a skippy. I'd like to catch a skippy in here if I possibly can. Just see how it goes. Yeah, um, that snapper I got to start off with really, that went pretty hard. For the first fish, that kind of surprised me. Yeah, I've got something on. What have I got here? Oh, this is a tail or a snook. What have I got here? Oh, it's a snook. 
There you go, there's snook. There you go, a little snook. Okay mate, you can go. Yeah, so my reel went in the water. I'll roll the footage of that. It's a bit of an accidental drop. It fell out of my clip here. I bent over and obviously caught it and it fell out of my clip and in the water it went. And now it's not feeling great at all. Oh, another fish. This is like fish and cast. All I'm doing is dropping this jig to the boat. And these little pinkies are just all over it. Where's the bigger ones? Come on. Where's your daddy? this oh that just done me like a dinner what was that oh no way that was a heavy fish that was a heavy fish that slapped my 10 pound snapped my 10 pound leader where it was tied around the, the jig head there oh I don't know how many jig heads I've got left Out. That was a heavy fish. Oh, so many touches. As soon as I drop it in, it's getting slammed every time. Yeah. Fish on. Well, this one's a tailor. With my jig. Dang, you've, only, you've got my jig in there, mate. Look, my last jig. Yep. Oh, it's another snook. It's another snook. All right. Oh, hang on, I've got one last good fish on here. What's this? This one feels like a better fish. Oh, where's he going? He's going around the corner. <laughs> hang on. Oh, this guy's off around the corner. What have I got here? Another... Oh, this one's a herring. This one's a herring. Look at that. Nice little herring. All right, on that note, I'm going to call it. Oh, come here, buddy. On that note, I'm going to call it. It's been a pretty hot session. We've only been here for half an hour. Yeah. Half an hour, 45 minutes at the most. I've got a heap of fish. Um, I proved what I set out to prove, which you can fish from a stand-up paddleboard. Is it practical and easy? No, it's not. It's actually a real pain in the backside, and it's not easy at all. But that's all right, it's all part of the challenge. We caught a few fish, he can go back. Um, oh, you what? <laughs> oh, I thought you were going in there. <laughs> anyway, that's it for us. Um, I'll see you in the next episode. Yeah, not ideal, but I've had to strip this reel down, pull it all apart, clean it out, and regrease it, and then I have to put it back together. That's what happens when they go on the water. Anyway, it should be okay.